My greetings to you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm NoGuy21. Welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights Core Campaign. In the last video, we were tasked by the green dragon Akulatraxis to slay the hill giants that were plaguing her nest. Because apparently, some asshole wants dragon eggs for an army. Apparently, the big plan is to use dragons along with other kinds of giants, ogres, trolls, orcs, essentially every single thing that's a, that hates humanity against Neverwinter. Fortunately for us, and Neverwinter, we destroy any chance of that actually happening on a greater scale. The guy in charge is gonna have to deal with that fact. Also, we also leveled up. We are now a ra la level. Bleh. I cannot speak English. Maybe I should try talking in a foreign language if I actually remember the lessons. Anyway, we now are a max rank of Red Dragon Disciple, meaning any remaining levels shall go to Sorcerer. Yay! <laughs> it only took fucking forever, and at the end of the goddamn campaign, I am going the wrong fucking direction. I want to go this way. Ah, uh, boy. And I also took a couple of minutes to sort out my inventory a little bit. I don't have that much space remaining, but uh, I have some space remaining. Oh boy. Okay, game plan. Head back to Akulatraxis, get the reward from the dragon, then port back to Barona's Well, sell out the majority of my inventory, and uh, port back here and head to the spine of the world. Sounds like a game plan. Whether or not I'll be actually be able to stick to the game plan is a completely different story. And I would actually, I probably should remember to finish everything else before I talk to Aaron Gang again when I get the third word of power. Unless the game says, fuck you, you are immediately teleported and talking to him immediately as soon as you get the third one. Knowing my luck, that actually will happen. Oh, whatever. Let's rest here. Mainly to reset Linus' spell slots and the, uh... Small chance that we actually get attacked by the dragon. Not to worry, we can actually kill the dragon pretty simply. Hopefully. Hopefully I'm not regretting my choice of words. Alright then, Akulatraxis. I hope you like having a fucking head. Wait a minute. Did I actually pick up the head? Okay, yeah, I did. I just gave it to Linu. For a second there, I was a bit worried. Whew. That could have been... That could have been a master's problem. Huh. Okay. Do, 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 do. I'll take my armor back. I don't know why I'm doing this. I really shouldn't. But whatever. Okula uh, Traxus smells blood and something else. Uh, something foul. You have the head of a hill giant tree. Give it to me, that I might see the proof of his death. With my own eyes. I am honored to give you the hill giant's head, mighty Oculotraxus. The hill giants will raid the lairs of my kind no more! By killing the chieftain, you have earned my gratitude. The favor of a dragon is not lightly given. 
We dragons are loath to part with our treasure hoard, but you have saved my eggs and the lives of my unhatched children from the threat of further giant raids. Take this gold, elven male. It is a fortune by most standards. I thank you for this general gift, mighty Okulatroxus. You speak with the respect to a dragon. Would you have anything more to ask of me? You are truly a spectacular being. Are there more dragons in the area that I might gaze upon the glory of your species further? There are other dragons in the area, though none so magnificent as I. Gorgotha makes her lair to the north for the spine of the world, though I know little of her. Gold dragons are not fond of my particular breed. A great brass named Salandra also lairs in the spine of the world. Another I try to avoid, for she is jealous of me. Most of the others have fled. Driven off by the same hill giants who dared attack me here in my lair. I will be leaving now, mighty Akulatraxis. If you have business elsewhere, you may attend to it. Akulatraxis gives you permission to go, tiny creature. Well, that was easy. And let's not nestle the dragon's fucking scales by going into her egg den. That is just asking for trouble. But still, a thousand gold works for me. Wait, was it actually a thousand gold or... Yeah, it's a thousand gold. The bot said ten thousand for a second there. Okay, so we got two more dragons to talk to. Yay! A gold and a brass dragon. <sighs> Maybe they won't be so terrifying in their voices. Anyway, before we do that, though, let's head back to here and sell some of our crap. Because we got a bunch of shit to sell. And maybe I'll just bite the bullet and make the plus three sword now. Let's see, two, the, uh, hmm. Actually, since we're here, we might as well turn in Uploot's head to get our reward from the Bounty Master. What are you supposed to be anyway? Oh, you're a gnome. Huh. Greetings. Yeah. Welcome back. How's the life of the bounty hunter treating you? You bring any orc heads back for me? Or is there something else I could do for you? I have the head of King Old Bald Mini Arrows here. Wow, Old Bald's even uglier than I imagined. The flies eating out his eyes probably don't help. No matter. I got a stick all shopping up and waiting for this one. Here's a thousand gold pieces, I promised. If all of his followers out of the picture, maybe we can actually start winning this war. I'd like to see your inventory. You are favorable. This is good. But what is this? An adamantium breastplate. Yeah. Interesting. Sell. Yeah. What's this? Banded mail plus two. Yeah, okay. Sell that. What is this? Banded mail plus three. Sell that. Do, 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 do. Thieves tools, gone. Arrows, gone. Gem, gone. This gone. This gone. Dagger plus three. That's a normal one, so sell it. So this. This. And this. And this. And this necklace. Get this out of my inventory. Well, out of this bag. Sell this ring. Sell the fire opal. Whoops. Sell the fire opal is not the word of power. I don't think he would give me a price anyway. It's a plot item. Sell the copper necklace. Keep the boots speak. Keep the ring. Amulet of Aegis. One of missiles. Keep all this stuff. Next bag. Sell the gem. Next bag. No. Next bag. Aha. Here we are. Arrow, sell. Hammer, sell. Sword, sell. 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 What's this? Crossbow, murder. 
2d6 damage plus damage on critical hits. God damn, that's a good crossbow. Sell, 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 keeping the diamond. Thieves tools, sell, sell the gold ring. What is this belt? Hill giant strength, selling that. Gold ring, sell. Fire opal, sell, sell, sell. Sell this. Sell the fire bullets. Okay, that's it for the inventory in the bags. Uh, what about the rest of my inventory? <laughs> ring of invisibility. Sell. Sell the ring of clear thought. Ring of mouse acid arrow. We do not need that, so sell it. Sell the ice bullets, sell the giant's bane, sell the fire bullets. Silver ring, sell. Copper ring, sell. Keep the ring of insight. Sell the gold ring, sell the gold ring. One to the heavens, I cannot use that, so sell it. Sell the garnet. Arrows of the vampire, you're gone. Silver necklace, you're gone. Copper necklace, you're gone. Longbow, you're gone. Thieves' tools, you're gone. Gems, you're gone. Bolts. Ice arrows. Fool's gold. Fairy's gold. Whatever the fuck it was called. You're gone. Okay, that freed up my inventory space. Question is, do I want to buy anything from you? No. Instead... We are Baff's head, Guzzard's head, and Old Bold Many Arrows head. All three in a row. Instead, we are going to head to the trading post to get ourselves a new weapon. Uh, hello, Sir Dwarf. Uh, let's see. Where's my diamond at? Diamond! Which bag did I put you in? There you are. Hey, what? Welcome, noble soul, to Baron Smithy. I, of course, am Baron, Master Dwarven Smith, who created five magical items. How may I be of service to you today? I want you to make an item for me. Display at least one component item and one magical weapon or one suit of magical armor on the forge and I'll help you out. Will the forge be empty? Like it is right now? I can't do my thing, can I? If you want, I can look through your inventory and backpack to see if you have anything I can combine into a powerful weapon or suit of armor. Is there anything in particular you want me to look for? I'm interested in magical swords. Nothing beats a good old sword, does it? Tried and true. Okay, let me peek inside your backpack and I'll give you a list of the wondrous blades I can make you from the stuff in your inventory. If an item isn't on the list, you don't have the stuff I need to make it. Just pick something you're interested in having me make. Hmm, the Astral Blade Longsword. Requires a diamond and a magic longsword. Excellent choice. When you're ready, just place the component in an appropriate magic item on the forest and come speak to me again. Just say you want me to create an item for you, and if everything is in the forge as it should be, we can do business. Alright then. Anvil. Diamond. Magic sword. And... Hey, what? Okay, I see there's some stuff on my anvil. Let me take a look and see what I could construct for you. This is interesting. By adding your diamond to your magic longsword, I can make the Astral Blade longsword. But this job ain't cheap. It'll cost you 22,000 gold pieces for me to make this for you. Payment in advance, of course. Here is your 22,000 gold. Always a pleasure doing business with a fine man such as yourself. Stand back. You don't want to catch a hammer in the head. Here you go, sir. Quick as you please, and the job is done. You can pick up the item from my forge. Yay! 
We actually had a use for the money we got. A fucking lot of it. Astro Blade. 1d10 sonic damage, plus 2. I got a feeling I should have waited that way it would have been plus 3, but whatever. Now isn't that shiny? Hang on for a minute. You know what actually, I changed my mind. Instead, I'm gonna wait. Because I got a feeling if I wait, the reward's gonna be a lot better. Unfortunately, that means I had to do some things again. I had to resort my inventory again. This time, not putting everything inside my bags instead of selling a lot of crap. However, that also meant I also gave Lena the uh, belt of the hill giant strength just because. If she's gonna be hitting things, she might as well hit things a lot harder. And since we're here, we might as well head to... The main star cloaked on Clave, and... Item of strange... Oh, you're unfavorable. Well, fuck you too, you stupid bitch. There goes that plan. I was planning on selling you all my scrolls, but no. Alright then. Let's head back to the Temple of Tear, head back through the portal, and then head to the spine of the world. Wrong building. Oh my god. Lodge. The Temple of Tear is this building. Although it doesn't really look much like a temple, more like a fucking, um. Uh, courthouse, I think. Is the proper term I'm trying to think of? Whatever. Back in the Moonwood, let's head up north to the spine of the world. Let's see, based on the car- based on, uh... Topography- is it topography I'm thinking of? Or something completely different? Based on the position of uh, Baruna's well compared to the spine of the world, apparently it is southeast of our position. Although why we had to go, or would it be directly south? Because we had to go west, and then northeast, and then north. Whatever, give me a fucking map so I can see this shit, plan as day. Oh hey, remains ba remain bags. More stuff for me to sell. Yay! Debris! 41 gold. What's this corpse? Neutralized poison. What's this sign say? To the spine of the world. Apparently it's on a crossroad with a road leading into a mountain. What's this say? To the moonwood. Alright. Oh, hey. Poor cultists, and don't you shoot fucking frost bolts at me, you assholes. Oh, hey, a fire giant. Your classified is moderate difficulty. This is good. We need more of you. You wouldn't get that much gold, only 200. Because I don't think getting elemental heads counts for that 100 gold pieces. Sucks being stunned, doesn't it, bitch? Now, before I was so rudely interrupted, I can actually look around. Debris field, what's in it? A bless potion. Why do I expect anything else? Alright, Jesus, why do you despise me so? Now see what a true warrior looks like. Just out of curiosity. Ah, oh, she's at strength 19. Excellent. Ah! 
Your sword might be doing damage to me, Fire Giant, but I'm immune to fire damage entirely. So you can kiss my ass. Alright then, what does drop? 25 gold, excellent. Would you drop? Two gold. Uh, was there anything else over here? N just more debris fields with a torch that I no longer need. Why do I keep a torch around? I can see in the dark. I guess it's just to make things easier. Who knows? Maybe you need it to burn things. Okay, I just look at the debris field. Thank you. Okay, well, that was a road that led to nowhere. Let's try over in this direction. Cultist Journal. This is the personal journal of one of the cult members. Most of the entries are in detailed observations of a woman named Astalia. Ugh. We might have been another member of the search party. Sandwiched in between the sexual commentary are a few entries about the dues of the group. I hate these stinking woods. We were supposed to be doing guard duty in Luskin. The wars came down, next thing you know, we're racing north and hunting for some kind of magical words. Boyd the cockroach figures we're going to have to try and sneak into the lair of one of those giants we saw the other day and try to search there. I think his time as patrol leader must be nearly up. I still have that elven arrow I found. It would be a real pity if the elves managed to assassinate our brave leader. 99 ice arrows. Well, you're not a nice guy at all. Let's see, we have a cave. Ah, trolls. See what a true looks like. Cleric smash. All right then, uh, let's, uh, fuck it. Let's go into the cave. All right, what do we got in here? I'm expecting dragons. And a bunch of dead fire giants. No, oh boy. Kukri. Tome of the Ring. Ring of Regeneration. Let's see. Uh, Fenberry, Eye of the Rock Shasa. And casting Mel's Acid Arrow. I might actually make that. Hello, gold dragon. You alive or dead? Are you sleeping? Huh. A dragon scale. Okay. I think sh the gold dragon might be dead. Well, that's, uh... Something that happened. I don't know if that, was, if that dragon's actually supposed to be dead. Hey, I saved on the trap finally. All right, dear. I'm getting to it. I'm all done here. And another magical kukri. Yay. Well, obviously I can't click on you, and apparently you're dead. I'm not sure if this is a uh, bug glitch or not, because I can't remember anything about when I came here the, la the first time. Oh boy. Well, apparently... Wait a minute. Gold dragons are immune to fire, so what they do? Stab her to death? Although that's a good accomplishment considering gold dragons are the strongest of the chromatic dragons. Until you get to the celestial dragons, then you have the fucking platinum dragons, which are the king of all dragons. Bahamut for the win. Oh, 
Although I really wish uh, they would actually tell us what the fuck a Platinum's Dragon Breath weapon is, because that way we could actually tell what the fuck its element's supposed to be. I'm assuming as King of the Dragons, it's probably everything. Or maybe it's just magic itself. Victory will be ours. Oh, what's that? You're stunned? Oh, sucks to be you. Victory will be ours. Well, you know, victory will always be ours. Why? Because we're the protagonists of this story. Oh, hey, a troll. Guess what, Sir Troll? You're going to die! Too bad you weren't hiding underneath a bridge. I uh, wand that I cannot identify. That's always great. Ooh, bolts of lightning. Two hundred forty-nine gold pieces. Well, that person was rich. Owl's wisdom. Did you stop that? That's annoying me. Okay, well that cave entrance is a bust. Got a dragon scale out of it though. Let's try over here then. Ah, an ogre berserker. And another cave entrance. I'm not sure if it's because these enemies are so pathetically weak, or the fact is I've barely got a good night's sleep, but apparently I'm tired of the shit. Die to the blade and mace of the elves. I try to come up with something witty and it doesn't really work for me. Ogres, use your tiny walnut-sized brains. Leave! You are outmatched and outclassed here is fucking ridiculous. Sanctuary music? What the fuck? Okay, well the last cave was a somber scene. What we got here? Ah! Gorgotha. Gold dragons are graceful, sinuous, and wise. They hate injustice and foul play, often embarking on a self-appointed quest to promote good. Damage reduction. Damage immunity decreased to cold. Damage immunity increased to fire. Immunity to knockdowns, mind spells, paralysis, sneak attack, spell resistance, and true seeing. And this one actually has their wings showing. I could do without the, uh... Uh... Tendrils? Frills? Whatever the fuck are on the face? I have all the dragons' official artwork. I prefer the third edition's fire dragons. 3.5, actually. Red dragons. For what reason have you violated the sanctity of this cave? Have you come seeking Gorgotha's eggs? You would be wise to answer me, tiny one. I am searching for the words of power. I know something of these words of power. It is rumored that the foul Kaluf has one in his possession, guarded by his fire giant servants. Kaluf? Who is this Kaluf? Scrog, king of the fire dragons in the north, has sworn allegiance to Kaluf, an ancient red dragon of unimaginable evil. Now Kaluf lives with the fire giants in their lair to the north, and they serve his every whim. Now, Kaluf has his fire giant minions scouring the mountains of the spine of the world, slaying female dragons so they may steal their eggs and bring them back to Kaluf. Why does Kaluf want dragon eggs? I do not know why Kaluf hunts the eggs of other dragons, but the reason is surely one of pure evil. Kaluf is a monster. His name is a curse among my species. Even other red dragons fear him. And they have a reason to. 
the older a dragon is, the wiser and stronger they are. And if this guy is an ancient red dragon, he's been alive for at least... I want to say a century? No, wait. I was looking up the age ages for dragons, and I think ancient is a thousand years. So yeah, this guy's been alive for a while. I could get rid of this Kalu for you. You? But you are nothing but an elven creature. Kalu is an ancient red worm. Even I, a gold dragon, fear his power. Still, these are strange times, and I am desperate. I dare not leave until my eggs have hatched. Only death will stop Kalu from stealing my eggs. Bring me proof of his death. Bring me the head of Kalu the worm, and the greatest treasures of my horde will be yours. I will do this for you, Gorgatha. I admire your courage, small one. Return to me when you have Kalu's head. Otherwise, I may think this has all been a deception to somehow trick me out of my eggs. I wish you success, though in all truth, I fear you are doomed to a grisly end. For the sake of my unhatched young, I hope I am wrong. Indeed, and your shadows are bugging the fuck out. <laughs> and I think your wings are the wrong color. <laughs> oh boy. Something went wrong with my game installation. Which is fucking weird, because these problems never popped up before until I did a de random defrag one day. Oh well. We actually have an objective and the location of the final word of power. It's in the hands of a fucking red dragon. Of course it's in the hands of a fucking dragon. Now, this is why I got that dragon slayer shield. Because I knew, I fucking knew, I would have to face this motherfucker eventually. Why do you think I went Red Dragon Disciple? Fucking immunity to fire damage. It is worth it. Really fucking worth it. Red Dragon Disciple level 10. The character gains immunity to fire. Wait. If Gorgatha is in this cave, then the other dragon that uh, I would trap cool Atraxis we'll talk about was probably in this cave, which means that was a brass dragon. But then... Hmm. I'm not really sure of that, because isn't the color of this great shield fucking gold? Or is, that or is that a brass color? Or is that just yellow? I don't fucking know. Gold and brass look very fucking similar to me. Well... It depends on the shade of the brass. Because brass can either look a uh, sort of a uh, orange tint, or it can look very shiny yellow. More ogres! Kill them all! They have no place on this world, because they do not think for themselves. They follow the will of the strong, which is their right. But the fact is they're facing against people who are stronger than them, means they're stupid and have no sense of self-preservation instead of fighting us they should be running away you know like smart people would hey asshole burn and righteous fire oh where'd you come from hey Linu but you actually kill them that would work out well for you Then again, Lidu is taking quite a beating here. This is ridiculous. I understand her armor class is not the best, but still, this is getting ridiculous. Lidu, you heal yourself while I tank the damage. And Great Cleave is Supreme King. 
in melee combat. Now then, let's uh, identify the shield. Our shield plus two. Hey, Linu, guess what? Here you go. We're slowly getting your armor class back up to what it should be. Slowly but surely. Give me that. Remains. Four gold pieces. More ogre berserkers! More things to kill! you stop hitting Linu, you assholes? This is ridiculous. They're really effortless. Why is Linu taking such a beating? I mean, seriously, it's the difference between 36 armor class and... 28, really? That big of a difference? Because seriously, this is ridiculous. And I'm not even wearing full plate mail. Oy, oy, oy. Shit, this raid, I might as well just uh, save a spare suit of fucking mithril split mail and give it to Linu. Or at least that fucking uh, white dragon armor. Oh, well, there. Oh, well, actually, there is an armor set that I will get in Kao Slayer that I will be. which will be Linu's final armor at the end of this game. Because I'd have no use for it. What it is, is that there's a suit of, uh, red dragon full plate armor in Kao Slayer. It's a reward for beating him. The problem is, is that it gives you immunity to fire damage. I already have immunity to fire damage. So the fact is that this mithril splint mail is probably going to be the best fucking armor I'm going to be having for the rest of the entire fucking game. Unless the game decides to be a random suit of full plate plus three. And even then, it probably would be better to keep the, keep the fucking Mithril split mail because it weighs less. What's the, what is this, Kao Slayer? Oh, Fire Giant Lair, technically. Great, we're back here again. This is going to be fun. But I'm going to say that for next time because this place is huge. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been NoGod21. This has been Let's Play Neverwinter Nights Core Campaign. And in the next video, we're going to be hunting down a red dragon. This is going to be a lot of fun. But until then, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.